What's going on everybody? It's pc 9 for xyz here. Welcome back everybody to Destiny the Collection. We're gonna continue. We just uh, explored the tower for a little bit, you know, again, I apologize for having that being a short video, but there's really nothing else I could have done about that one. Um, but anyway, I just realized how big this ship is. It takes up the whole entire screen. Usually ships don't take up the whole screen. But anyway, we're about to go ahead and start the second mission now. Which is down here. So yes, as you can see, if for those of you who are old players looking at this, the map has definitely updated. Uh, it's been huge, really. Um, it's giant now, but anyway. Restoration. Return to fallen territory and hunt for parts to restore your ship's ability for interplanetary travel. Sounds simple enough, right? It does actually... The first couple of missions are actually pretty easy. Kind of. As easy as Destiny gets, anyway. There's so little left out here. We were lucky to even find this ship. A Guardian can't do much to protect the city without one. But it needs a warp drive if we ever hope to fight beyond Earth. And that Cosmodrome is the only place I know where we might still find one. We survived the Fallen once. We can do it again. A Guardian ship was recently shot down here. If the Fallen haven't gotten to it, there might be parts we can salvage. <laughs> We're lucky enough to even find this ship. Giant. Very, very rare ship. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, you can see your current objective by opening Ghost up on your screen. Anyway, so this is where Destiny will, or Bungie will essentially drop you off. In a sense, it'll always be here. So again, because it's the Festival of the Lost right now, usually everything is on nighttime mode. Although we might see some daytime stuff. What's interesting is they've actually changed old Russia up a little bit because it used to not have snow, and now because of the new expansion, it does. Well, it, it did always have snow, but not that much snow. And now they've added more snow, so. So let's head over to this lovely area over here. Yeah, I'm changing it up. I usually do an auto rifle, but, you know... Live and let live. The ship's avionics are completely catatonic, but I can call their last transmission. They managed to restore an information hub here, down in the tunnels below. We should check it out. Sounds good. So that's over here. Oh, right, okay. So the hunter doesn't actually have a float. You just, they just double jump. Sounds good to me. Work. I gotta get used to... I gotta get used to not having uh, the things I usually have with my uh, Titan character. Some of the things I'm just used to using my Titan character and I have like a flow system going with my, my reactions. And it's different with every class, the Warlock included. So, let's head down. of the entire area. What we really need to find is a warp drive, so we can jump to any planet or moon. Our only hope is where we found our ship. We have to go back. Hmm. They've changed some things. 
The environment. Now let's head back up. Shall we? I hope we do see some daytime stuff, because the daytime is actually quite beautiful, but of course the neon lights are also beautiful as well. Scanning for the warp drive. Bad news. It's already in fallen hands. Really gotta get used to that. I hope you're ready for this. Alright. So when you go into a darkness zone, you can't get out. In the sense of, like, if you die, you have to start back at the beginning of wherever this darkness phone zone started. That's what I tried to do in my first walk when it didn't work. Alright, and here he comes. Say hello to Rixus. Maybe I okay, maybe I should have gotten another rifle. <laughs> So basically, this is an easy fight. It's a long one, you know. Every every single bungee game involves having enemies be bullet sponges, but... I'm just trying to get rid of these vandals because they are really annoying. They're really the most annoying thing on here. drive so damn dramatic so yeah that's probably one of the easiest fights in the whole game but yeah yep that's that's us so that's mission number two not very hard hmm Actually, I should go back to the tower really quickly and show you guys bounties, for those of you who don't know yet. So yeah, you'll get rewards constantly. And like I said before, the Cryptarch is available. So let's take a look, shall we? So what do we have? Okay, yes please. Yeah, and as you can see, your color scheme will change based on what you equip until you get to level 20 when, and you'll see what I mean, level 20 has um, level 20 essentially has um, unlocks a bunch of stuff um, relating to customization of your guardian and so and such and such. So that's what's cool about level 20 specifically. Um, once you hit level 20, it's like prime real estate. <laughs> but um, of course, level 40 just lets you do whatever you want after that, really. And I've got some. Again, I'm going to spoil my my uh, hunter guardian. I am going to 
equip some very, very high level stuff, which will make the Taken King and Rise of Iron much easier, much quicker. Um, because essentially, um, Rise of Iron requires you to be leveled up. They expect you to have grinded for a long time. And I don't know what it's going to be like to um, see the leveling up process for uh, the game now, now that we're starting at the beginning once again, and Rise of Iron just happened, so. But anyway, like I said before, when you get an encrypted Engram, he will, en or a, an Engram that's like New locked, no idea what they do. Won't be disappointed. He will encrypt it for you. Be careful. Like so. And that requires level four. Trial begins in old fashion. You need my help. Okay. How can we help? You've only just begun your guardian career and already you've slain an archon. Impressive. Let's see if you can maintain your tenacity. I'm sending you back into the a into action. Fallen foes are strengthening their positions at the Jovian and Terrestrial complexes in the Cosmodrome. Scout the areas and then report back to me. Well done. Sounds good. Wielded well done. Sounds good, Zavala. Yes. All right, so let me actually just go back really quickly and show you guys what I meant when I said bounties. Uh, the Crucible, a lot of stuff is also unlocked to us at level 5. All the basic stuff is unlocked to us at level 5. Until then, they're just asking you to do the story. This is the bounty guy. He'll take care of you. Yeah. Yeah. So right now, I can only do Crucible stuff. Um, oh, wait, right, 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 right. We don't get bounties until level 5, okay. Sorry, my brain went, is going in a weird mood right now. Um... Okay, so that's mission number two. We'll be back mission number three. Thanks guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time on Destiny of the Collection.